for all, I would like to thank uh, Tech at IUC for inviting me for this talk here today. All right, so first of all, allow me to introduce myself to you. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Ayes Aga Fonseca, but you can call me Ayes. And I am the founder of Malaysia Pro Wrestling and one of the pioneers of professional wrestling in Southeast Asia. Woo, woo. Right. <laughs> the microphone don't seem to like me because it's making this weird on this. Alright, so um, I'm just going to do a little bit of show of hands here. How many of you here have watched professional wrestling before? Don't be shy, don't be shy. Quite a lot, quite a lot. All right, so for those of you who did not raise your hand, worry not, worry not. Because I'm going to bring two of my wrestlers here today. And I'm going to show you guys what a typical wrestling match is all about. So without further ado, allow me to introduce the first wrestler. You guys ready? Yeah! Yeah! Testing, testing. Hello everyone, good afternoon. My name is Z and I have been your commentator for this afternoon. To those who are sitting in the front, good luck. <laughs> 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 on your left is Double K and on my right is the very, very intimidating Gotham who is no one's matcha. He is no one's green tea. <laughs> Are you coming, Bobby? Headlock and throw wrestling. No. Oh. oh. Hammerlock. Hammerlock. Very traditional as well. We start things off with a bit of chain wrestling to see who has the more dominant wrestling and abilities. Nice counter from Double K. Ooh, look at him going fancy. Uh, we are into legs after all. Nice. Oh. Nice. Headlock takedown. You see the kind of people that. 
that I have to handle every day at the gym. Um, uh, see, can you help pick him up and put him behind? I think he needs some, some medical assistance. Alright guys, did you enjoy the match? Okay, so first of all, let's start with what is pro wrestling. In case you guys don't know, professional wrestling is a unique art form. Yes, it's an art form which combines athletics and performance and theatrics. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, what we do in professional wrestling is we want to take you on an emotional roller coaster ride. All right, so when you watch this match, even if you're a fan of professional wrestling or not, I noticed that each and every single one of you were smiling, you were cheering for whoever you wanted to win, you were booing the bad guy and everything. So this shows, this shows that within their fight, there was a story inside. And that story helps to bring you an, on an emotional roller coaster ride. So that is what professional wrestling is about. Alright, so, um, um, sorry, I'm a bit old school, I like to use my cue cards and say. <laughs> Alright, so um, a lot of people might ask me, why professional wrestling? I say, why not? Okay. Growing up, I've always wanted to become a professional wrestler. I'm not kidding you, I'm not kidding you. Ever since in primary school, the cikgu used to ask, Ayes, you nak jadi apa bila besar? Cikgu, saya nak jadi pro wrestler. The whole class laughed at me. <laughs> Cikgu bertanya, why do you want to be a pro wrestler? Because I see the guys on TV fight, they're very cool. Okay. And then, <laughs> thank you. And then, um, even in sekolah mendengar, same thing, teacher asked me, I asked, why do you want to be a professional wrestler? Cikgu, professional wrestling, best lah Cikgu. Tengok ada tiga lawan The Rock and Kung Fu. And then, in university. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, I took up um, uh, uh, medical lab technology oh, wow. in uh, oh. MSU. Oh. Oh. The lecturer asked, one by one, you nak jadi apa bila keluar dari sini? Saya doktor, cikgu. You? Saya biotech, cikgu. Saya, you? Saya nak jadi MLT, cikgu. You? Ketua jabatan, cikgu. You? I can't that you pro wrestler, Jake. Then what are you doing here? No, I forgot to say, what are you doing here? Um, Jake, my side of the So why not pro wrestling? I mean, it has been my passion since I was a kid. And I've always been laughed at. So being laughed at and being ridiculed is my main fuel to try something new. I mean, there's no platform in Malaysia. There's nobody doing it. So why not I start it? Let me create a platform. Because if you don't start something, it's not going to happen. If you're going to wait for something, it's not going to happen. You just have to go for it and just hopefully it goes for the best. And it proves to be the best now because I have a lot of media stations now fighting over the rights of my PW. I have 13 different countries who have contacted me wanting rights to show my PW in that country. So that alone shows that if you dare to do something different, it might just work out very well for you. Alright? So I want you guys to keep that in mind. If you have a dream to pursue, please do so. Okay, so let's talk about pro wrestling again. Enough with the motivation, Mahmoud Jabo and stuff. Alright, so professional wrestling. When I mention athletics, athletics in professional wrestling, what do I mean? These guys, you see the one fighting us now, they train like actual athletes. They can do a lot of physical stuff that average people cannot do. So, for example, um, can I have um, uh, one or three gala outside here, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, three gala. <laughs> now, look at this guy, big and scary, but who knows that this guy is one of the most agile person in the ring. Being this big, he is about like 110 kilos, but he can jump this high. Show them how to do it, bro. <laughs> That's easy to the height of my head. And I bet most of you guys gotta jump the height up. <laughs> Alright, and um, he could even do a keep up. Keep up. Oh. Oh. And this is just one. I mean, he's 110 kilograms. 
the guys who are smaller than him could, can even fly and do all this magical stuff. You guys, you guys have to watch it to believe it. Yeah, thank you, Juan. Thank you. Well, then I'm going to call up Bumpy again. Come on, Alright, so um, uh, I'm going to ask her to do for me push-ups. Can you guys help count for me how many push-ups can she do? Alright, okay, let's try to do some push-ups. Without the knees, eh? the guy push-up and not the girl push-up. Yeah. Go, puppy! One, One, two, One, two three, four. So that speaks a lot about the level of athleticism ability that these wrestlers have. See, their training is crazy, I tell you. They train five times a week. These wrestlers are trained five times a week to be superior athletes. They need to be agile, they need to be fast, they need to be strong. And above all that, they must be able to have the charisma, the showmanship, to keep you guys interested in their matches like what just happened just now. Okay? So now we are going to the theatrics aspect of professional wrestling. Like I mentioned earlier, professional wrestling, the matches are an emotional roller coaster for you guys. First, you cheer for the good guy. And then when the bad guy start beating up on the good guy, you start to feel sorry for the good guy. And then you start going the bad guy. And then suddenly, like Superman, the good guy have his power back and start beating up the bad guy again, and you guys get you guys get all excited so. And then they start rolling, 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 and then one winner come out. So basically there is an art a lot deeper in professional wrestling. Believe it or not, professional wrestling has its own psychology. It's called ring psychology. The chapter written on professional wrestling ring psychology is this thing. Wrestlers need to know how to evoke emotions out of the audience. When do they make you boo for them? When do they make you cheer for them? How to make you sad? How to make you happy? How to make you feel suspenseful? You need to learn all of this aspect in order to be a good performer. And it's very, very, very deep. Okay? So, now that I've spoken about um, the basics of uh, professional wrestling, I'll go on into the secrets of pro wrestling. This is the most interesting part. Secrets of pro wrestling. Okay, so, the most common question that people want to ask, but they are afraid to ask, they talk about their bantai dema. Wrestling is fake. Alright. They want to ask, is wrestling fake or not? Come on, I don't have to ask me. You can just Google. <laughs> it's 2017 already. Everybody has access to the internet. Even on their phone. You can Google, is wrestling fake or not? Alright, so. What I can say is, to, to call wrestling and professional wrestlers fake is unfair. We can fake pain, yes, on camera. But when it's a live performance, you try to fake pain, the audience can tell that you're not hurting the guy for real. And if you don't believe what is going on the stage, what is happening, you guys cannot get connected to the match. Which is the main reason why when you saw the match between Gotham and uh, Double K, they were both hitting each other with full force. You can hear the sound, black, black, black. <laughs> yes, it hurts. These professional wrestlers are trained to absorb as much damage as possible. They are trained to be immune to pain. So that's the reason why they can throw their body on down there, on here. They can get slapped, they can get kicked in the head and everything. That is our training. We train our body to block out the pain and absorb it. And Z is just, he's just been training with us for six months. He's very new and he's very good at absorbing the pain. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Okay, so, 
I show you guys some visual proof that the, you cannot fake thing. All right, so the next question that I usually get is that is wrestling choreographed? To be honest, no, it's not. It's not choreographed. Everything you see in a match happens spontaneously. These two wrestlers are talking to each other as they are wrestling without you guys noticing. He's telling him what he's going to do next. He's telling him what he's, what he's going to do next. But you guys did not catch that, did you? No. All right. And it's not choreographed. You can ask our organizers here. They all call us for yourself. I don't want you to say, Blaga, gila mama ni. It's not that. It's just that being a professional wrestler, we are used to talk spontaneously. We are used to do things spontaneously. It is better that way because when it's rehearsed, there's chances that you might screw up. So everything is spontaneously. It is an amazing art form. This guy needs to learn how to receive and give technique. This guy needs to learn how to receive and give technique. So they don't they do not actually hurt each other. But it's very, very, very convincing when you guys believe that they are in pain. Alright? So um next question that um, we usually get is how do you decide the winner if wrestling is uh, fake? Alright, so wrestling is not fake once again. It's very disrespectful to us if you say wrestling is fake because number one, it's a career. I'm a full-time professional wrestler. I wrestle in Hong Kong, in Singapore, in Malaysia. I've been offered to wrestle in WWE. I've been offered to wrestle in WCPW, in the UK. So, for people who say that it's fake, in my case, it is very disrespectful. Alright, so um, wrestling is not fake. But what I can say is professional wrestling is predetermined. Yes, the winners are decided. Like for example, Double K and Gotham. I told them, you guys are going to have a match in front of uh, that extra you see. So then they asked me, so who's going to win, coach? You guys decide among yourselves? Huh? So they spoke among yourselves. Okay, you win. Huh? So everything that they did was spontaneous. Alright, so the winner is predetermined. Why? It's because professional wrestling, once again, is a mix of athletics and performing arts. It is exactly like a ballet recital, but with lots and lots of violence. <laughs> It is exactly like a theatre show, but with lots and lots of fighting. This is that. So, we do not even market ourselves as real fighters going on to real fight. Everybody now knows that professional wrestling is pretty to me. But what we do is we suspend your belief. We suspend you, your belief. We make you believe for a second that what we are doing here is real. The exact same thing that Hollywood movies, or whatever movies are, uh, Malaysia or Hollywood cover, Whatever move, the movies are doing, they suspend your belief. I mean, for a second when you watch Spider-Man Homecoming, how can you believe that this guy can climb walls and start slinging on webs and everything? Because it suspends your belief. So that's the exact same thing that professional wrestling do. It suspends your belief. Our aim is not to win, not to lose. In professional wrestling, there is no ego whatsoever. No ego whatsoever. Our main aim is to entertain you and to make you cheer, to make you boo, to evoke your emotion. <coughs> the worst thing of becoming a pro wrestler is when you talk, 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 and when you talk, pula. talking is what I'm doing now. Then when you wrestle and wrestle and wrestle, and then nobody, there's no reaction. Nobody pays attention. That's the worst thing that could happen to a wrestler. So what you need to do as a wrestler is you need to entertain the crowd. You need to make them cheer, you need to make them boo. If you're the good guy, you want them to cheer for you. If you're the bad guy, you want them to boo for you. So that is what professional wrestling is all about. Alright, and um, just to close off on this note, because um, I believe that uh, professional wrestlers and professional wrestling does not get the respect that it deserves. A lot of people think that it's fake. Um, so if you want to call this fake, then what would you call those action stars in movies who actually use stunt doubles and camera tricks to make their action look more convincing on screen? Whereas, we professional wrestlers, we perform live in front of your eyes. We put our body on the line, we put our life on the line. Because trust me, there's been thousands of professional wrestlers who had died or got paralyzed during wrestling. So we put our body on the line, we put our necks on the line. And for people to call us fake, it's very, very sad. Because if we are fake, then all the action stars that you see in the movies, all the theater actors that you see on stage are fake as well. <laughs> Alright, so I hope that I enlightened you guys on what 
So professional wrestling is about, I hope it opens up your mind to make you accept professional wrestling more. Instead of saying that, eh, keep cool at me. I hope it, open up, it open, opens up your mind. And I also hope that, in a way, I have inspired you guys to be able to pursue your dreams and never, ever, ever be afraid to do things out of your dreams. Thank you so much.